Welcome to our Kawamall.com instructional video. Today we're going to talk to you about the Thorlock SS control. We'll show you how to wire up the system and demonstrate how to program the controller. The door can be accessed by entering a PIN number or a radio frequency identification key. When the key or PIN number is presented to the controller, then the controller will send a signal to the electric strike to unlock the door. The controller must be installed on the outside of the door where you'll see the mounting plate on the back of the controller. There are screws that come with this controller for you to mount on the wall. You'll need some wires and for this demonstration we strip some wires from a Cat5 cable. The power supply has a transformer built in to convert a 110 to 220 volt AC to a 12 volt DC. This also comes with a radio frequency remote as well. Let's talk about how the controller works and some of the features that are built into the system. As we said before, the person must give a PIN number or present an RFID to the controller and it will send a signal to unlock the door. The controller is programmed by somebody who will be responsible for granting access to the room. The button you see on the control panel is a signal to, the, to a doorbell. You can install a doorbell to let people know that there's somebody on the outside of the door. A switch can be installed from the inside to send a signal to the controller to unlock the door. The most important feature in this controller has an anti-break alarm. The con if the controller recognizes somebody's tampering with the unit, it will send an alarm and it will not be able to unlock the door. Let's explain what kind of strikes we have and how they work. The electric strike is universal and it doesn't matter which way your door swings. You can flip the strike until it works properly on the door frame. The strike comes with instructions and two screws for installation. Please review carefully so that you're able to fit the strike correctly onto the door. There are two kinds of strike, and this strike is called normally open, or NO. For an NO strike, we must send power to the strike to unlock the door. The second kind of strike we have is called normally closed, or NC. For an NC strike, we must remove the power from the strike to unlock the door. This is a 12 volt power supply that has a transformer built into the unit. It has a heat shield to absorb the heat away from the transformer. You'll need to supply a 110 to 20 volt AC of power with these two wires. There are terminals on the edge of the power supply that you'll need to connect to the controller. There is a red and black wire for a 12 volt battery supply in case the main electricity is interrupted. You'll need four wires to connect to the controller. You'll see a blue wire connected here to a 12 volt, two white wires for a ground, and one orange wire for the push and NO. Make sure your connections are nice and tight. Now we're going to connect the four wires from the controller to the power supply. Connect the blue wires to the 12 volt, the two white wires to ground, and the orange to the push on the power supply. Now you're ready to wire up the electric strike. Now you notice here it doesn't have any polarity signs here on the strike so it really doesn't matter which way you're wired up to the power supply. Connect these two wires to the terminals on the NO and COM3 on the power supply. Now you're ready to connect the, the system to the, your electrical grid. We'll show you how to program this unit. You'll need to get the default programming code from your manual. Hit star and your six digit number. To set the new programming code, hit zero, enter your new six digit code, then re enter the six digit and you'll hear to be to confirm the new programming code. Now your new program code is ready. To set the pin number, enter the programming code. Hit three, enter your four digit pin number, and you should hear a two beep confirmation. Hit star to exit the programming code and now you should be able to open the door with your PIN number. To program your unit with your RFID, so hit your programming code, grab your RFID keys, hit 5, and just scan these cards in and as many as you need. You'll want to hit star when you get done and you can have as many as up to 10,000 for this unit. 
And then when you're all done, just hit star and then that will exit your programming mode. So let's zoom out a little bit so we can show you a little demonstration. We'll present our keys to the control unit so you should see a green light light up on in the corner. There are uh, other features that you can do in the programming mode such as the amount of time the electric strike stays open or some of the alarm features but we, we just want to show you how quickly this thing can be set up. Now these are the other controllers that we have in our store. We'll give you a quick rundown on how these work. This controller has a fingerprint recognition and a keypad access. On the back of the controller you can see that you can connect to a TCP IP. This will allow you to manage your door access control by computer or server. The terminals to here are to make your connections and the unit comes with software and it can hold up to 500 users. This controller has a digital display, a keypad, and RFID capability. It comes with software, it can hold up to 6,000 users. It has TCP, IP, or LAN capabilities to connect to a network. It comes with wires to make the connections here. This controller has a much larger digital display. The display and the keypad can light up. It's RFID keypad accessible. It has a TCP, IP, Ethernet capabilities. The unit comes with software and can store up to 10,240 users. This controller is water resistant and it can be installed outdoors. The housing is made of stainless steel and it's ideal for outdoors. It has RFID keypad accessible and the unit can store up to 500 users. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or comments regarding to this video or any of our products, please send us an email.